Ooh, what's going on? I hope I don't lose. Courtroom number two. What's going on here? <coughs> Court will now reconvene. Mr. Payne. <coughs> Please call your witness. This next person is someone who witnessed the crime as it happened. The prosecution calls Miss Dahlia Hawthorne to the stand. She a e-girl, for real. Please remove the butterflies from the premises. Please. What's with, what's with this stiff silence? Yeah, seriously. In my long career as a judge, I have been deceived by many witnesses. It's my job to doubt. To take no one at their word. B but in your case, I must admit that you radiate a glow of complete sincerity. I can't believe he actually just said that, really. <laughs> Are you trying to catch a case, Mr. Payton? Oh, um, now, now then, witness. Uh, could you please state your full name? Hi, um... Don't worry, sweetie. There's no need to be nervous. If anyone says anything rude, you can be sure I'll cut them right down to size. I wanted to make a size joke there, but I won't. And I will bash them with my gavel. I love how they look straight at me when they say that. God. Um, thank you for calming my nerves. You're all so nice. I almost feel right at home. Not at all, not at all. It, it was nothing. If we may move on now, what is your full name and occupation? <clears throat> my name is Dahlia Hawthorne. I'm a junior at liter- uh, What the f- I'm a junior in literature at Ivy University. I just want to say, it's an honor for me to be here in your noble presence. <laughs> the honor is all mine. No, the honor is all mine. Well, we know who's milk- God damn it, Capcom. Why, dude? Why? Um, sir? Is there something I can help you with? You, you could just go on and say whatever is on your mind. Can we get to her damn testimony already, please? I'm sure that there must be some kind of mistake. Feeny wouldn't kill anyone. I just know it. Yes, yes. I can see why you'd say that. She is going to be a tough witness, all right, yeah. Well, if she's ever going to testify, right. Well, it takes her 12 seconds to wrap them all around her little finger. Here we go. Now then, please proceed with your testimony. I know. Jesus, let's go. Let's hear what you witnessed on the day of the incident, if you please. Let's go. What I witness. Witness testimony by Dahlia Hawthorne for the witness of the murder for Doug Swallow. And the current suspect is Phoenix Wright. He's my defendant. Okay. I, had, <clears throat> I had been planning to go back to Feeney's place after class was over. Feeney and Dougie. They were talking behind the building. Then suddenly... Ducky got all wobbly and just collapsed. That's when Feeney noticed that I was there. I went to go and find some other students, and they called the authorities. Okay, okay. Uh, I don't know what to say. According to you, Miss Hawthorne, the defendant didn't do anything wrong. Case closed. Young lady. As old as I am, even I recall how hot the flames of young passion can burn. Nevertheless, it is my job to discover the truth. Please, tell us the truth. But... but I... I would never... That's more than enough, witness. I won't allow this to continue. 
What do you mean by that? Please, just let me proceed with my cross-examination, Your Honor. I, for one, don't plan to win my case on a bunch of paper-thin lies. You what? Tee, you haven't changed a bit. Mia Fey. Nani? What's this? S so you two are acquainted? Yes, we've met before, once. Oh, she's talking about the year ago thing, okay. But how? Why? What's the context? In any case, Miss Fey, the floor is all yours. It's good to see you again. Madam Fay? Adam? I'm no one's grandma yet, girly. Okay, let me actually, like, mute my phone. I keep looking at my phone. Bad habit. I have been planning to go back to Phoenix Place after class was over. Hold it, dude. Hold it. Press. Now, unless I'm mistaken, Feeny, I, I mean, Mr. Wright, is in the art department. If that's the case, then what were you doing by the pharmacology building? Well, I'm in the literature department. I'm studying Japanese senryu poetry. Oh, 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 how wonderful. It's that humorous yet satirical style of haiku, yes? Nothing left to do. When a man reaches this age, sleep is his best friend. It's supposed to be poetry? Sounds more like a midlife crisis, dude. No way. For me to get to the art department, I have to walk through that back area. Okay. Ah, oh, yes, I see. That makes sense. When I want to enter the courthouse, I always walk through the front doors. <laughs> How else would you enter, bro? Seriously. Innie and Dougie, they were talking behind the building. So who is this doggy person? Oh, I'm sorry. Don't swallow. We were dating until about eight months ago. Which is exactly what your thing says, right? So what were doggy? <clears throat> Mr. Swallow and Mr. Wright talking about anyway? Here, here are these girls go, Loon. As usual. How can you be so mean? I would never... I would never eavesdrop. I wasn't raised to be so rude and unrefined. That's right, Mrs. Fay. Miss Fay. Don't drag the witness down to your level. Why am I being demonized here? Please, go on. What did you see next? Ma'am? Suddenly, Dougie got all wobbly and just collapsed. Okay, so she's she is skipping out on the part where Phoenix pushed him. Yes, yes, right. Um, hold on. Uh, shoot, hold on. Um, okay. There's nothing saying that he pushed him, so we can't press her on that yet. or like present. Are you saying that the victim just collapsed on his own? Yes. In other words, the defendant never touched the victim. Is that right? I was watching the whole time. If Feeny never did a thing to Dougie, then why the heck is Phoenix saying that he pushed him, bro? I press it for no good reason. I just know the judge will get angry with me. So what should I do about her testimony just now? Show contradiction- wait, wait. Oh. Oh, wait. Ah, shoot, hold on. Um... The victim fell on top of his umbrella because he pushed him. Wait, show contradiction. Yeah. Feeble lies are not very becoming, Miss Hawthorne. So let's drop them, shall we? What? what? I- I would never- Miss Fay, I will not allow you to badger this witness. Nani? I I believe the defense is engaged in a a fishing expedition. What? That is uh she has no supporting 
What are you trying- what is he trying to say here? But please don't glare at me like that. I'm, I'm, I'm just doing my job. Now then, Miss Hawthorne. See, that's the thing, too. Like, when, the, when it says show contradiction, there's no, like, court record evidence to prove that. However, contradictions can just be, like, known things said previously in the testimony. They don't have to be, like, in the court record. The defendant's palm print was found on Mr. Swallow's leather jacket. It has already been shown that Mr. Wright did, in fact, push the victim. What? There's no need to try to cover for the defendant. It would be much better if you came out and told us the whole truth. Hmm. There's nothing to worry about, young lady. Just tell us everything that you saw. Y yes, Your Honor. I, I will. If you don't mind. If you don't mind, I'd like to revise my testimony. I hate when they do that. I, I hate how... Okay, whatever. Looks like we're finally getting somewhere. Right. Okay. Um... Actually, I didn't see the moment he pushed Dougie. Hold it! You said you didn't see it? Well, I saw the moment when Dougie fell to the ground. And at that time, there was only the two of them at the scene. The defendant, Phoenix Wright, and the victim, Doug Swallow. Yes, that's right. It looked like they were fighting, and I didn't hear anything unusual, either. Objection! Nope. Okay, sorry. I just thought I could try it. Whatever. Whatever. So then, what did it look like? What- What did it look like they were doing to you? What did it look like they were doing to you? Grammar. I thought they were having a nice, friendly afternoon conversation. Please, bro. That's why I really wasn't watching them at all, clo all that closely. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary at all? No, nothing at all, Mr. Judge. Oh. I like the sound of that, Mr. Judge. Now then, please proceed with your testimony. To go and find some other students, and they call the authorities. When you say students, do you mean students from the pharmacology department? Yes, they're all very fond of their drugs. Please try to stay on topic. So to find some pharmacology students who went to the labs, correct? That's what I was planning to do. But in the end, I wound up not going. A group of about ten research students came running out of the building entrance. Why the heck did I just say it like that? Somehow, they all seemed to know what was going on. The students knew what was going on? But how could the students have known what was going on? Well, I don't know for sure that they knew what had happened. It's just, they all seem kind of excited about something. Bro, is this a freak accident? It's the pharmacology students, so they're probably, like... If they are using one of the machines with the high voltage... You know, obviously a current has to go through the wires and it must have snapped or something. This is a... dude... This is all just one huge coincidence, for sure. Hmm, doesn't look like I'm going to get any more info about the students. So did the students call the police? It, yes! I... I was just so... I was so panicked. Hmm. Yes, well, anyone would have been, my dear. Girl, she's telling a super obvious lie and she knows it. She's just pretending to protect Mr. Wright. Yes, that's gotta be it. Way to go, Mia. Okay, that means I'm going to have to dig deep to find the contradiction on this one. I hate when they're so elusive like that. Okay. Okay. She was talking shit about how... What do we know? We know about... We know about... 
Oh, the victim fell on top of his umbrella. There was a loud snap. Okay, maybe that goes where this was. And I didn't hear anything unusual either. Okay. There we go. Okay, I hit her with the wrong thing. You say you didn't hear anything unusual. Is that correct? Yes, that's why I was very relaxed looking at the scenery around me. Oh, whoop, wrong way, wrong way, there we go. That's nice, but I find that just a little odd. I have here the testimony of- Well, why isn't she doing, uh, this? When Phoenix is holding the paper and he smacks it? Testimony of your boyfriend, Mr. Phoenix Wright. And he clearly testified to the effect that when he pushed the victim, he heard a sharp, loud noise. He, he said that? If you were really that close to the two of them, why didn't you hear this noise as well? Well, well maybe the noise just wasn't all that memorable. Ugh. But according to Mr. Wright's testimony, it was a sharp noise like a snap. <laughs> There's no way a noise like that could fail to make an impression. What? Um, may I have a moment to answer? B by all means, please, yes, yes, go ahead. I, I know the reason why I didn't hear the noise. Don't tell me you were listening to music. You see, the truth is, I had my headphones on. And I was listening to music at the time. Headphones? You mean that you... You mean that both of your ears were covered? The rain was just beginning to let up. But it seemed as though Thor wasn't ready for his fun to come in to end yet. What the f***? Oh, Thor. Lightning thunder. Oh my god, dude. Ugh. I'm so slow. So the sky continued to flash and rumble. Thunder and lightning, huh? Yes. And I'm afraid of the sound of thunder. So I put my headphones on to block it out. <laughs> well, Your Honor, as you can see, there weren't any contradictions in her testimony after all. Mm. Wait a sec, Mia. The testimony just now. She said something that could totally change this whole case. Yeah. She couldn't hear what they were talking about. She didn't hear anything, right, yeah. Your Honor, there is a problem with the witness's testimony. What do you mean? What, what is this problem? It's obvious. The problem is that the witness claims to have not heard the snap. Uh, are you deaf? Did you pay attention to the testimony? She said she didn't hear it because she was listening to music with her headphones. Miss Fay, I'm surprised you're going senile before me. I'm not that bad, I think. Dude, she couldn't hear what they were talking about. What the f The only one that could have killed the victim was the defendant, Miss Phoenix Wright. N no, please, I, I never meant to incriminate him. This is bad, Mia. If you don't do something, we're going to lose this. Think again. What is it about the testimony that doesn't make sense? She said something that- oh, said something. If- th if there was lightning... No, because lightning isn't a sound. Thunder is. There was lightning? If there was lightning, then that's the sound that Phoenix heard when he fell, no? Am I stupid, actually? Hold on. Your Honor, there is a problem with the witness's test- Did I get it wrong again? W what do you mean? Didn't you notice? She said there was lightning, correct? Okay, that- that little ding means I'm correct, okay? And it's highlighted. Yep, she said there was lightning, correct? Yes. What about it? Well, lightning is actually a large- Discharge of electricity in the atmosphere. Sure. Now's not the time for a science lesson, Miss Fay. Yes, Your Honor. Anyway, since the cause of death was electrocution, 
Isn't it that the victim died from being hit by a bolt of lightning, I guess? There's no, like, CCTV footage. There's no, like, security camera footage from the school that we can just look at. I still don't understand how this is a damn murder case. Hmm. I must admit that the thought had not occurred to me. Some kind of thoughts do occur to this guy anyway. I don't want to know, actually. I really don't. This entire case is built on the premise that Mr. Doug Swallow was murdered! For some f***ing reason! But that very premise itself is mistaken! The defense believes that Mr. Swallow was, in fact, the victim of a stray bolt! Oh my god. It, it appears the defense may be onto something. Could it be that the death was actually accidental? Alright. You did it. Yeah, we turned things around. I'll be taking that nut. <laughs> I'm hurt that you have such a low opinion of me, Miss Faye. Huh? I'm not a fool, you know. The prosecution has done its research, Your Honor. We found that there were no lightning strikes on that day at that location. What? What's more, we have evidence that the electrical cable is definitely linked to this case. He's right, actually. Uh, uh, evidence, Mr. Payne? Well, what is this evidence? This affidavit. By who? And who is this affidavit from? The pharmacology students who were conducting experiments in their labs that day. They're- Oh, my theory is coming true. Allow me to read out the allow me to read out to the court the testimony that the pharmacology students did. Yeah. All equipment in the labs lost power all of the sudden at around 3 p.m. that day. All equipment in the labs lost power at 3 p.m. Was it a blackout? All of the lab's equipment runs on high voltage, Rana. So you're saying the equipment lost power because there was a trip. Yep. Or that, yeah. Precisely. They lost power because of the severed electrical cable. A power outage occurred at approximately 3 p.m. Which fits with the time of death listed in the autopsy report. Exactly. In other words, the victim died as a result of touching the severed electrical cable. Oh, shit. According to the students, the cables were very old. They were planning on having them replaced in the near future. Hmm, I see. Apparently the cables had become so brittle that even the smallest bump would have caused them to break. Smallest bump. Um, the smallest bump. Bump is highlighted. Did Phoenix push him into one of the poles, maybe? And he's just not telling us that? Um. Did Dahlia Hawthorne accidentally hit a cave, uh, one of the poles? Let's find out. The old power cable broke due to some sort of impact on 4-9 at 255. Okay. However, there is one thing that troubles me. If the cable could have been broken by any small bump, then it wouldn't have snapped if it hadn't been bumped into, correct? Well, I suppose you could say that, yes. Hmm, Miss Faye, it's that heat music. Be ready. Do you have any thoughts regarding the cause of the severed cable? Your, your Honor. Uh, I don't like how this is looking one bit, actually. I have to come up with something to try to regain some momentum. If it pleases the court, the defense would like to state its opinion. Well then, let's hear it. Who or what was it that caused the cable to break? Broken near an electrical pole, let's get it! And they also proved that he didn't fall on it either in the previous, uh, uh part one. Let's go. Let's go.
This is it. This is why the cable snapped. <laughs> well, Your Honor. I believe that the only thing that has snapped is the mind of the defense. Bro, the music stopped. I'm right. Ah, that was one of your best lines yet, Your Honor. Ouch, that was harsh. What are you talking about, bro? Who or what was it that caused the cable to break? Who or what? Give me one more chance, Your Honor, please. <laughs> Okay, I'm- I'm lost. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. There's no transcript, bro. Well, okay, I was correct. Let's keep it going. Your Honor, please think back to Mr. Wright's testimony. The defendant's testimony? He said that after he pushed the victim, he heard a loud, sharp noise. Now, this happened at around 3 p.m., correct? Yes, that sounds right. Wait, are you saying that... The lab equipment lost power at 2.55, which fits right into Mr. Wright's timeline. In other words, it was Mr. Wright's shove that caused the power outage. Alright, I had that thought. I don't know why I didn't pick him first. Yes, the prosecution also came to that same conclusion. You're right, Your Honor. And it was that very shove that caused Mr. Swallow to be electrocuted. Uh, cat. I'm afraid I can't agree with you there, Mr. Payne. Wh what's that supposed to mean? Take a good look at where the victim landed after being shoved. See that umbrella? It's by the electrical pole. <laughs> How do you mean? Dude, if anything, it's in between them. He's the one close to the electrical pole. That thing is so far away. That's right. The victim banged into that pole as a result of being pushed. It was that impact that caused the cable to break. Hmm. Well, that makes sense. And then the victim was electrocuted. I'm sorry, Your Honor, but no, it doesn't make sense at all. The victim was shoved into the far pole and he couldn't have been electrocuted by this severed cable in the foreground here. Oh, because because the umbrella is over there. Okay, I think. I think. Ah! In other words, someone other than my client must have electrocuted the victim. Oh my god. Order in the court, bro. Ah, the laminations of my enemy. How I've longed to hear them. It, it's true. The defense is absolutely correct. There doesn't seem to be any way that- Um, Mr. Judge, sir? May I say something? The Madame's attorney- The Madame Attorney's explanation? She said some things that are a little different than I remember them. Oh, what the- Please, just once more. May I please testify one last time? Please, Mr. Judge! No. Of course it's all right. Just go right ahead and give your new testimony. This is it. She's finally starting to show her true colors by crying, right?
What I witnessed part two. The Last of Us part two. The truth is, Feeny pushed him twice. The first time was into the electrical pole. That's when the cable broke. Then Ducky tried his best to run away from him. But Feeny caught up and crashed into him from behind. The cable snapping and Dougie being electrocuted. It all occurred last year. Excuse me. Hmm. So after being shoved, the victim got up and tried to run away. And that is when the defendant pushed him for the second time. I'm so sorry, Feeny, but I I just have to tell the truth. Am I doing the right thing? Am I, Mr. Judge? Of course you are, my dear. As painful as it may seem, you are. Uh, now then, Miss Fay, you may proceed. Proceed with your cross-examination. Would I witness part two? Truth is, Feeny pushed him twice. Objection, bro. Uh, let me try something right off the bat. Is where something that says, yeah, 2.55. If this man died at 3 p.m., there is a five minute, um, there is a five minute, yeah, the cable snapping and Dougie being electrocuted, it all occurred in less than a minute. Um, Objection! I was right. I didn't have to press her on anything. Let's get it. I did not have to press her on a single thing. That's enough, witness. I'm afraid I don't understand. You will in a minute. Could you please take a look at this picture? Or his watch. Right. I even pointed this out in the previous video. That shit says 305, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that medicine. That's the one Feeny likes to take for his cold. It's not the medicine I want you to look at. It's the wristwatch. It stopped at the precise time the victim was electrocuted. That's not three o'clock, that is 305, bro. Jeez. Dude, what is it then? Yes, and your point is, Miss Faye. My point is this. What time was it when the lab suffered the power outage due to the cable snapping? Well, according to the student's testimony, the answer is clear. It was 2.55! Would you care to explain to the court, Miss Dahlia Hawthorne? What exactly? I do it. I was talking about five minutes. They're talking ten. Eek! The defense proposes that it was during this interval that the real murderer killed Doug, Mr. Doug Swallow. Order! What is this old- th This is nonsense. The real murderer? Even you can't deny that the time between the cable breaking and the electrocution are completely unaccounted for! He- th Then who was it? Who else are you saying could have done it? <coughs> Dahlia? There's only one person who could have murdered Mr. Swallow. Only after my client had left the scene. Was there a window of opportunity for the real killer? Miss Faye, is the defense ready to indict someone else as this real killer? Yes, bro. It's finally time. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Yes, your honor. We are ready. Very well. But remember, if you accuse the wrong person, you will be penalized. Think very carefully before you speak, Miss Fay. Yes, bro. Now then, Miss Fay, let's have it. Who is the real killer? Take that! It could only have been you, Dahlia Hawthorne. What? But how? How can you? The the defense is grasping at straws. Ten minutes passed between the time the cable broke and the time of the electrocution! What exactly were you doing the whole time, Miss Hawthorne? Were you really listening to some music while cheering them both on as they fought? 
I find it hard to believe that you didn't lift a finger to stop the mean did you uh, uh, what the fuck stop the men dearest to you? Mmm. Mia going in, dude. This is her in her prime. This isn't even her in her prime. This is her, like, her first court appearance after a year. Miss Faye. What? I mean, why? The Miss Hawthorne, I believe you did witness the two men fighting on that day. However, after Mr. Wright pushed the victim and subsequently left the scene, it was you who pushed Mr. Swallow to his death by your very own hands. Ah! Dude, we got her. For sure. Uh, how can you say something so mean, Madam Fay? I... I didn't do anything. Miss Fay, this is a very... Phoenix? Whoa, I was about to say, I recognize that. Hold it, hold up. Your Honor. Please, I have something I want to say. <laughs> Chew, bro. Y you, w what is it? Please. Please strike everything the defense said just now for the record. What? What the? Are you daft? You're totally wrong, Miss Faye. Dolly, she... She couldn't do something like that. Sam. Mr. Wright, get back in your seat. Bailiff, grab that man. Ah! Uh, uh, <laughs> Leave my dolly alone! <laughs> that boy. That boy. He's gotten himself in way over his head. I forgot you were even here. Your your sprite isn't by um Mia's during the whole uh like painted one. Like the landscape shot. Oh, Mr. Grossberg, you're back! It seems I've arrived just in the nick of time. I found the police report on that <gasps> No, he was looking for that! That's right! The police report about the thing that happened a year ago. That's right, because Dahlia was involved in that. For sure, for sure. A report on the incident eight months ago. Police report added to the court record. Thank you so much. This is exactly what I was hoping for. You'd better take a good look at it. Oh god, okay. Um, incident overview. Location, District Courthouse Cafeteria. Okay. Almost a year ago, so it wasn't exactly a year ago. Diego Armando, age 28. He was a lawyer. The suspect was Dahlia. She was 19 at the time. Armando ingested poison while interviewing the suspect regarding another case. Traces of poison were found in the victim's coffee cup. No poison was found in the vicinity or on the per- <laughs> It's her necklace, bro. It is her necklace, bro. No way, actually. I'm scared. That is crazy, actually. Yep. Okay. Because what does this shit say? Uh, yep. You better take a good look at it. It, uh, details how you came to lose your boyfriend. Diego? <laughs> Not Diego. <laughs> Not Diego. Diego was was in with Mia, bro. What a lucky guy. Hold on, wait. Does he have a profile? No. Sad. Rest in peace, Diego. Now then, the defense has made a very serious accusation. Mr. Payne, what do you have to say about this? Well, well, really, Your Honor, I... I... Uh, that is, I... May I interrupt you for just a moment, Mr. Prosecutor? Ah, don't you worry, my dear. I have the situation well in hand. Uh, that is, I... Um, g g go right ahead. Madam Faye, are you seriously accusing me of killing my sweet doggie? Yes, I am. <laughs> Not only am I saying you murdered Doug Swallow, but you also tried to pin the whole thing on your current lover, Phoenix Wright. Get off, dude. No. I told you that you should let me handle this. <laughs> uh, sorry, P please go ahead. How can you say that? I'm absolutely, I'm absolutely devoted to my dear Finny. Finny! The notion that I would try to frame him is ludicrous. 
This is all just too much for my poor little heart. Ah, I believe the girl is trying to ask what on earth her motive would be. Bro. The answer to that lies somewhere in this police report. It must. Uh... <laughs> um... Ingested poison. He was a lawyer? Okay, he was 28. Regarding another case. While interviewing the suspect, Dahlia, regarding another case. Okay. What? Okay, so obviously I've... God, that's such a dope shot. Eight months ago, an incident occurred in the basement cafeteria of this building. And then... And then that same day, the two of them accidentally met. Meet. Your Honor, the defense requests further testimony from Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. F further testimony? What about... About... Well, what about? About the events of the day when she first met the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. How so, brother? What could you... What could pot... What... <laughs> What could that possibly have to do with this case? The witness claims that she has no reason to frame the defendant, am I correct? Well, I have the evidence that suggests that she, in fact, had a very good reason. Very well then. The court grants the defense's request. Young lady, would you mind staying on for just a little bit longer? Of course not, Mr. Judge. You're ready for the battle of your life, Dahlia Hawthorne. <sighs> stab, stab. Break down. Hit you with Stinger, Loki. How I met Feeny. I first met my darling Feeny. I can't. Okay, I'm, for now on, I'm not going to read these in their voices. I first met my darling Feeny eight months ago. It's like we were destined to meet in this very courthouse's basement reading room. The moment our eyes met, my heart skipped a beat. We've been going out ever since that fateful day. Why the hell is this in green? Why the hell is this in green? We're so lovey-wovey, we literally make people sick. It's just jealousy, I think. Why the heck is that last part in green? Mr. Wright, do that again and you will be held- Oh, that was him. I didn't even see. Did that shit say Phoenix? No way. Is that part of the testimony? And now we enter the final acts of our little drama. As we used to say in the days of my youth, go get her. Mario? How I met my Feeny. This music is actually kind of neat. Uh, it's like we were destined to meet, uh... Um... Relax, relax. Okay. So until that time, you had been dating Doug Swallow. Y yes, I'm a real fool, I know. Letting my emotions change so quickly, I'm ashamed of myself. No, no, not at all. Look at me. I'm infamous for changing my mind. My critics have even taken to calling me Judge Fickle. <laughs> Maybe you should look for a different line of work, Judge. Old ass. Just retire, honestly. Despite that, however, he always, always hands down the correct verdict. That's why some people also call him the Great Judge Jajini. What? It's like we're destined to meet in this very courthouse's basement reading room. The courthouse reading room? That's a strange place to meet the love of your life. For sure. That's not true, Madam Faye. After all, Feeny was... Feeney was not only an art student, but he was also planning on becoming a lawyer. I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about you, Miss Hawthorne. What was a literature student like you doing in a courthouse reading room? This line of questioning is a waste of time. It has nothing to do with our murder case. 
Miss Fay. I'm warning you. If this has nothing to do with Mr. Swallow's case. I have to remember the judge is on Dahlia's side. Better tread carefully. Keep pressing, bro. What are you talking about? Your Honor, if you'll allow me some latitude, I think I can establish relevance. Please ask her to continue on with her testimony. Very well. Young lady, I've got a simple question for you. What were you doing downstairs in the courthouse reading room? If it pleases, Your Honor, the answer is simply this. I had come to this courthouse to do some research for a paper I was writing. Shut that shit down. Liar! Liar! Miss Hawthorne, you weren't here because of your research paper, were you? Didn't you actually come here for a much more important reason? Uh, Nani? What, what is the meaning of that cocky smile on your face, Miss Fay? Eight months ago, right here in this very courthouse, there was another tragedy. Another tragedy? Do you mean the incident in which an attorney was poisoned? We got her. We got her. The name of the suspect in that incident is listed here in this report. And that name is Dahlia Hawthorne. What? D Dahlia Hawthorne? Yes, the sweetie pie of everyone's eye, Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. She was the prime suspect in a criminal case just eight months ago. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Order, 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 order. Th this is unbelievable. It's true, though. The lo- Miss Faye, that that's not fair. You can't slander my witness with an un- Um... I- I, Winston Payne. What? Mr. Prosecutor, I believe I was speaking. Eh, uh, pardon me. G go right ahead. It's true that about eight months ago, the police expressed some interest in me. Hmm. Expressed some interest, huh? Mr. Judge, sir, I know I'm not under oath, so I'll tell you the absolute truth. Oh, I know I'm under oath. I thought that said not under oath. I was about to say, what kind of, what kind of justice system is this? I did not commit the crime that occurred during that incident eight months ago. I see. Seriously, yeah. Bullshit, bro. Okay, god, I love the save button, dude. It's my favorite. Now I've just got to stay on the offensive. Well done, Mia. Oh, you've really lit a fire in my heart. And my buttocks. You can hardly tell which is more inflamed. My spirit or my hemorrhoids. You are very open about your, uh, your, your personal things, sir. Poison. I met, the I met the lawyer who was poisoned to discuss something in the cafeteria that day. I left my seat for just a moment, and that's when it happened. From what I heard, it was a liquid poison that is lethal at just two teaspoons. Not only that, I heard it was a very special kind of poison. So you see, I'm incident. I'm incident. God damn it. I'm innocent. I wouldn't even know where to get a poison like that. It's the necklace, bro. Come on now. Hmm. So, that's what happened here eight months ago. However, as you've heard from the witness's testimony, she had nothing to do with it. I think the defense is just about out of tricks. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Payne. But I'm afraid the def the def defense mm, has many more tricks up its sleeve today. And, and I'll be sure to show them as... I'll be sure to show them to you before the end of this cross-examination. Ah! What the... Why does the defense suddenly feel stronger? Aha, Mia. You're glowing with the true lawyer's aura. Lawyer's aura, my dear. That proud posture and self-confidence. Absolutely smashing. Let's go. Let's go. The poisoning. Cross-examination. Uh, let me see if I can just get her... Yeah, let me see if I can just get her real quick. Objection! Oh. Alright. 
No, I feel like we need more. Okay. Yeah, press, press, press. What were you talking about with the defense attorney? Attorney client privilege. Yep. According to the report, you were being interviewed regarding another case. Yes, actually. The lawyer that was killed, he said he wanted to talk about an incident I was caught up in when I was younger. Why don't you tell us all what that incident was then, please? Why don't you tell us all what that incident was? That has absolutely nothing to do at all with this case. Objections to state. The defense's question is stri stricken from the record. You get involved in a lot of incidents, don't you, Miss Hawthorne? Well, I guess I was just born under a bad sign. Don't worry, Dolly, I'll protect you. You heard the man. Now that is true love, young lady. Oh, Feeny, please. Ugh. Those two really are making me ill, albeit for deciding decidedly different reasons. God damn, brother. I left my seat for just a moment. That's what happened. How convenient. How long were you gone? I've already answered all these questions for the police. But if you must know, maybe 10 or 20 minutes. And where were you during that stretch of time? Using the toilet? What are you saying, Miss Faye? Or what are you saying, Miss Faye? Toilet? My perfect little dolly doesn't poop. What? You heard the defendant, Miss Faye, but... What? The police have already looked into this whole matter. This line of questioning is nothing but a waste of the court's time. Objection sustained. Miss Hawthorne, please continue with your testimony. What I heard, it was a liquid poison that is lethal after just two teaspoons. Wow, you certainly know a lot, yeah. But how much liquid is two teaspoons? Mm, well, let me see. My bottle of eye drops says it's half fluid ounce, which is equal up to te three teaspoons. So it's about two thirds of that amount, huh? The poison was found in the mug of the lawyer's coffee. Found in the lawyer's mug of coffee. I'm dyslexic. It must have been after I left the table. Someone must have quietly slipped it in there. Not only that, I heard it was a very special kind of poison. Where are you hearing this from, bro? Yeah, right, a special- A special kind of poison? How so? Well, I heard that it's almost impossible to detect. Oh, and where would something like that come from? I'm sorry, all I know is what I overheard the policeman say. They said something about using advanced chemical processes to purify it. Just saying. He's a pharmacology student. Chemical processes? Well, well, that's quite... Impressive. Most impressive. The better question is, how did the criminal get something like that? Maybe their pharmacology boyfriend, bro. So you see, I'm innocent. I wouldn't even know where to get a poison like that. No way! I did just have to press to kind of realize what she was saying. No way! Wow, okay. Ace Attorney, I'm, I'm, I'm gradually getting back. Let's go. Big brain power, activate. You wouldn't know how to get that kind of poison? I don't believe you. What? In fact, you had easy access to that kind of poison, didn't you? At your boyfriend's lab. B boyfriend you mean the victim, Dog Swallow? That's right. Up until eight months ago, Miss Hawthorne was dating Mr. Swallow. And if you'll recall, Mr. Swallow was a pharmacology student at Ivy University. F f pharmacology His laboratory contained highly advanced chemistry equipment. In fact, without such equipment, the culprit could never have obtained such a rare and special poison. <laughs> Well, Miss Hawthorne, it seems you had access to such a poison after all. And then, it was a matter of slipping it into the victim's coffee when he wasn't looking. 
The only person who could have done that was the one sitting at this very table. His very table. You! You! <laughs> no! <laughs> Order. C could it be? That, that's nothing but a base. May I say something, Madam Faye? What is it, Miss Hawthorne? The amount of poison in the coffee cup was two teaspoons, correct? In order to carry that much liquid, you would need some kind of container. What the f- Well, yes, that's true. I was searched immediately after the incident took place. Quite true. In fact, the entire courthouse was turned upside down. But they didn't find a suspicious container anywhere, did they? She's right. They even mentioned that in the report. Huh, I'm gonna save because, like, I know where this is going already. Well, you could have easily got rid of something like that small, hmm? Excuse me, madam, but this is a court of law. If you're saying I threw the poison container away, I think you need to show some kind of proof. <coughs> proof? She got me good with that one, holy shit. Provide some evidence or I'll have to disallow this line of questioning, Miss Faye. Unless we come up with some kind of evidence, we're going to lose. The police conducted a full body search of Dolly and the entire courthouse. And yet, the container holding the poison disappeared right from the crime, right after the crime occurred. If you're going to accuse the young lady of committing the murder, then where is the container the poison was carried in? What happened to it? You were forced to get rid of the container in a hurry, weren't you? And that's why you passed it on to someone that had nothing to do with the case. Someone that you knew wouldn't be searched. Wh who was this person? Mr. Phoenix Wright, of course. So the defendant was this witness's accomplice? Of course not. She gave the poison to him disguised as a present. What? But, but, but that's... Hmm. That's a charming little necklace. Is this a little bottle? It's really quite cute. So what about it? What does it mean, Miss Faye? The day that the witness met and fell for Phoenix Wright, Mr. Phoenix Wright, was eight months ago. August 27th, the very same day as the poisoning incident. Under the pretense of love, the witness gave my client a present. All for the purpose of hiding the one piece of evidence that would give her away. What? Well, are you saying that there's a deadly poison in here? No, there's no longer any poison in that bottle. However, I'm certain if the crime lab were to analyze it, they would find a trace amount. Caught. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Order in the court. Uh, um... Phoenix, get out of here! On behalf of Dolly, I object! M Mr. Wright, control yourself! I- I won't let you bully her like this! Mr. Wright, I thought I told you to stay in your seat! Mr. Wright, why? Why are you going through so much trouble to protect her? Why? B because Because I'm madly in love with her. Bro. Mm. Madly in love. I haven't heard anyone say that in a long time. Mr. Wright, have you ever thought about this? Why exactly would a woman like Dahlia Hawthorne want to take you anyway? Mia, you didn't have to do him like that. Stop. Well, I guess she must be madly in love with me too. Mr. Wright, please, bro. Open your eyes. At this point in the trial, I think it should be obvious to everyone. The real reason that Dolly Hawthorne is dating you... Ooh, to keep you quiet? All because of that necklace. 
Dolly Hawthorne was not and is not madly in love with you. The only thing she's after is that bottle necklace you love to wear around your neck. My necklace? Back there in the waiting room, you said it yourself. Yeah, but she's so shy. Every time I see her, she always says the same thing to me. Please give it back now. What a strange girl, asking for a present back like that. For Dahlia Hawthorne, that necklace is irrefutable evidence of her crime. This is a long-ass trial, brother. Come on now. That's why she absolutely had to get it back. You're lying. But you never gave it back to her. And to make things worse for her... And to make things worse for her, worse for her, you insisted on showing it to everyone you met. Oh my god. <laughs> that is actually wild. No way. That's why she... I don't... I don't believe you. No, <laughs> Bro! Can we wrap this up, brother? Uh, Mia, are you alright? Ah, the defendant, he's getting away! Bailiff, hurry, after him! Mia! Mia, are you alright? Yes, I, I think so. That boy, he went completely insane! Where... where is Mr. Wright? It looks like the bailiff caught him, so he should be back soon. Thank goodness. Oh no! What is it? The bottle necklace! Miss Hawthorne's present! It's gone! What? That's terrible! Mr. Wright must have grabbed it when he slammed into me! Foolish boy. That's the only thing that could not- that could have saved him. What in blazes are we supposed to do now? I was- I was borderline expecting a to be continued as. Shit. <laughs> Mr. Wright, this sort of behavior is unprecedented in the history of this court. I- I'm sorry. I'm afraid that your apology is not enough. Mr. Wright! What did you do with the bottle necklace? For, forgive me, I... I'm sorry. It's okay, just give back the necklace. Oh my god, bro. I ate it. <laughs> you what? You ate it? It was too big to swallow, so I had to chew it in little bits first, but yeah. You are going to be poisoned, brother! What the- What? What is he doing now? Bro! Hey! Y your Honor! You've got to stop the trial! Mr. Wright! Mr. Wright! Are you feeling okay? Does your stomach hurt? That bottle you swallowed may have had some poison left in it! <laughs> it seems the defendant has proven the prosecution's case for us. Clearly, that bottle did not contain a deadly poison. How- seriously, how can you be so sure, dude? <laughs> I think that's obvious. As you can see, the defendant is still very much alive. It's only been 20 seconds. As for the poison? More like a fledging defense attorney's overactive imagination. Mm hmm. So it would see. Objection! Objection! No! There must be some kind of mistake. The bottle must not have had any poison left in it. Either that or the poison must have lost its potency. There, there. It's all right, Rookie. Trusting your client is the most noble thing a defense attorney can do. And it's heartwarming to see that you placed this much faith in Mr. Wright. Nani? But that's how it is for us on the prosecution side, too. 
For example, I would trust the witness, Miss Hawthorne, with my very life. Yeah, you sure would. Okay, good. Which is why I can state that your assessment of her is completely wrong. That's enough. Unfortunately, Miss Fay, I cannot accept your ex ex explanation of the events. But why? This may be impossible for a beginner like you to understand, but in a court of law, evidence is everything. After two games of Ace Attorney, I understand. <laughs> And after I proved so much, is she going to get away with everything? No. We'll get her. Now, now that, well, now that the suspicion surrounding Miss Hawthorne has been cleared up, I would like to proceed with the trip. Mr. Wright? I'm sorry, Miss Fay. It totally slipped my mind. I'm really... Really sorry. I know you believed in me. I feel like I really let you down. Mr. Wright, what are you trying to say? Um, there's something I forgot to tell you. What is it? That day. The day I met Doug Swallow. <laughs> that girl. You shouldn't see her anymore. Hey, it's none of your business. I'm telling you for your sake. If you continue to see her, it's going to be bad news. You're lying. No way, Doug Swallow knew. There's something you need to know about that girl. Last night, someone stole some poison from our lab. Poison? Same thing happened eight months ago. A drug sample was stolen. She came to the lab that time, too. Could only have been her. That girl is a thief. Stop it! Don't talk about her like that! Ugh! <laughs> Royal Guard. This case is annoying. Like, I wish I could say this case was fire, but it's not, actually. It's only because no one's saying anything. This is just like, okay, episode four of uh, the last game turned out to be fire too. But like, I need evidence. I don't need whack testimony. Give me evidence. Is it true? Did he really say that? that that's ridiculous. There's one more thing. After I pushed him that day, I got worried and came back to have a look. And she was there. Dolly was right there. She was crouched down next to him. What?! She told me not to ever tell anyone about it, but... I'm sorry, Dolly. Dude, it was, it was still an accident, yeah, for sure. Y Your Honor, th this is... Th the defendant is... Miss Faye, you tell them! D Dolly didn't do it. Sh she's innocent. <laughs> So Dahlia stole the poison eight months ago, too, huh? If you put that together with Mr. Wright's testimony, then there's only one possible conclusion. This shit is still an accident, brother! The defense believes that Miss Dahlia Hawthorne stole some poison on the night before she killed Doug Swallow. The night before? Naturally, her motive for stealing it was to kill someone. Miss Faye. If you're so certain of your theory, uh, then let me ask you this. Mia, this is your last chance. Think carefully now. There's something she desperately wanted to get back. Therefore, exactly who is Miss Dahlia Hawthorne planning to kill? Phoenix, bro! There was one person that was standing squarely in Miss Dahlia Hawthorne's way. And that person was... Mr. Phoenix Wright! Th that's preposterous. After all, it was Doug Swallow that was murdered. Well, it's true that's that... that mm, it's true that that's how things worked out. 
point. Let's remember that Mr. Swallow died of electrocution, not poison. The person that Miss Hopper was planning to poison was, in fact, you, Phoenix Wright. There's no one else that it could be. But, but how can that be? I, I thought Mr. Wright and Miss Hawthorne were in love. Shut up, bro. <laughs> or Mr. Wright. This must be killing him. Hang in there. I'll bring her to justice. I swear it. Okay. As I said before, the only thing Miss Hawthorne truly cared about was the one piece of evidence linking her to that incident eight months ago. <gasps> That's right. The bottle necklace. That's all she cared about. But even so, why... Why would she go so far as to murder him? Eight months ago, just after the fall of that attorney in the basement cafeteria, Thalia Hawthorne could think of only one thing. How to get rid of the bottle necklace as quickly as possible. No, it, it can't be. It was a pretty good move she made, too. The evidence was missing for a long time. But there was just one big problem. Although she got him to hide the evidence, Mr. Wright refused to return it to her. To him, the tiny little bottle was a cherished treasure. Oh, my voice is starting to, like, lose itself. He even showed it to everyone he met. That's brazy. Y you mean... The that's why she tried to kill Mr. Wright? Correct, Your Honor. It was to retrieve that piece of evidence. <laughs> that can't be true. No. Beanie. What a Whoa. What a joke you are. She flame it. Nice sprite. Yep. I love the sprite changes. Let's go. Honestly, how can any woman ever count on you for anything? I would like to introduce you to Maya Fey, hello. Or even Pearls. I even told you time and time again to keep your trap shut about me and that necklace. You disgust me. Miss Hawthorne. It appears that we're nearing the end of this trial. Thank you. Fine. I can tell you plan I can tell you plan on making me into criminal. Into a criminal no matter what I say. You are a criminal, Miss Hawthorne. We'll see about that. But first, where's your evidence? F me, dude. Come on now. It seems your sniveling little crybaby of a client has eaten the bottle as a snack. Oh. That's right, actually. Oh, no. Um. Hey, old man. Are you senile or something? Why don't you say something instead of sitting there with that dumb look on your face? But, but, Miss Hawthorne, what's happened to you? Hmm. Are you really that shocked? Or do you prefer me this way, Mr. Judge? Low key, Matt on guard. That's all I'm saying, bro. Matt on guard. Mm -hmm. With absolutely no proof, you treat a voluntary witness like she's a mass murderer. Well, I have nothing more to say. I'll be heading home now, if you don't mind. But, but we're not finished. Fine. That is a nice sprite, actually. That's so ominous. Fine. Then ask this nasty old hag to finish up already. Wait, how old is Mia? Hold it. Yeah, get back. Get your ass back here. Hello. I can't let her get away. How old is Mia? She's not in here. Can't let her get away this time. Stop, Mia. If you keep on pushing without any evidence, you could pay the ultimate price as a lawyer. The ultimate price? You would be forced to take off your attorney's badge forever, I'm afraid. No! Get your ass back here. You'd better think it over carefully, Miss Fay. Or should I say, Miss Gray? Is that the best you got, for real? Well, Miss Fay, can you provide evidence, evidence that would establish her guilt once and for all? Oh, uh, maybe. Oh, uh, hold on. Swearing? Nervous? 
what the hell do I have? Maybe, actually. Wait. <laughs> wait. Wait, wait, wait. Um, this has not come into play yet, actually. <laughs> yep, I think that's it. I mess up here, my career as a lawyer is over. To be honest, at this point, I don't have any evidence that's well founded. Even so, I'd rather lose my attorney's badge than let her get away with murder. Your Honor, the defense would like to present proof. I impossible. Y you can't possibly. Huh, try it. Stupid woman. It is the opinion of the court that there has already been enough discussion. God. Ah. Therefore, I will allow only one piece of evidence to be presented. J just one? If you are unable to establish your guilt, I'm afraid that a very harsh verdict will ultimately, will immediately be handed down on Mr. Wright. I understand, Your Honor. I can just imagine the headlines for tomorrow's newspaper. Upcoming lawyer plummets to earth before she gets the chance to soar. She was planning to poison Mr. Wright. Bro. His pills, bro, his pills. That's the case, then the poison was probably in there! Well then, Mrs. Fay, please present your evidence. Show this court irrefutable proof that Miss Hawthorne was planning to poison Mr. Wright. Take that. Easy. Here it is, Your Honor. The evidence that will prove her guilt once and for all. Cold Killer X. Phoenix Wright's beloved cold medicine. <laughs> Does our rookie defense attorney have a bit of a cold? If I did, I still wouldn't take this cold medicine. After all, it's been poisoned! What? Remember what the defendant said in his testimony. No, I don't! There's no transcript button, and if I was playing this non-stop, that shit would have been like in two hours ago, man. <laughs> Who's gonna remember that? <laughs> but I lost my bottle of it around lunchtime on the day of the accident. I always eat with Dolly, just the two of us. How are you gonna remember that, honestly? Okay, whatever, Capcom, I got it. She was the one who took his bottle of Cold Killer X. Then she poisoned it, knowing that Mr. Wright was going to take some. Now you're really grasping at straws. After all, it was the victim, Mr. Doug Swallow, that was holding the medicine. I would like the court to recall the crime that happened here eight months ago. Where did Miss Hawthorne hide the evidence? Huh? What are you talking about? Eight months ago, the poison was hidden in her... The poison was hidden in her bottle necklace. Which then she gave to someone else for safekeeping. Someone she had accidentally run into in the reading room, my client, Mr. Phoenix Wright! Yes, that's right. She did the same thing this time as well. These videos are too damn long. After shoving the victim, Mr. Phoenix Wright left the scene of the crime. <laughs> and Doug Swallow got up like, ugh. That is when the murderer, Dahlia Hawthorne, appeared. With her, she was carrying the poison bottle of Cold Killer X. This, of course, was so she could carry out her plan to murder Mr. Phoenix Wright. Hmm. I believe she did testify that she was going to meet with the defendant. Uh -huh. Yes, and she heard and saw everything that happened at the scene of the crime, including what the defendant and the victim were arguing about, and cut the electrical cable. That's when she realized... She used the severed electrical cable to silence him forever! I can't believe I've been keeping up with this voice, actually. Like, my throat is, like, dying right now. Can Phoenix please take over again? I want to talk like this. I don't want to talk like this for the whole game. Unfortunately for her, this is when the problem occurred. Mr. Wright, who she thought had left the scene, came back to check on the victim. 
And on top of that, because of the power outage, some students showed up as well. It's hardly any wonder that she was, as she put it, in a state of panic. Recall that she was carrying that bottle of poison cold medicine. Unreal, bro, actually. That is unreal. She must have thought, what if they search me like they did eight months ago? A eight months ago? Yes, she disposed of the evidence exactly the same way as she did back then. She had someone else hold it in this case, don't swallow. Shook. As usual. That's how we do things in the courtrooms. Huh. Oh, come on now. Everyone, surely you aren't fooled, are you? This stupid woman, she's nothing but a filthy, stinking liar. Right, Mr. Prosecutor? Uh-huh. Yes, th that's exactly right. It's just pure desperation. Objection! Objection! My shit doesn't, like, bang as easy. There we go. I wonder which one of us is the desperate one. So, Miss Hawthorne. This cold medicine. I wonder if you wouldn't mind taking some. Nani? Well, Mr. Wright ate that necklace of yours, right? Now it's your turn to prove your innocence. What do you say? She said, nah. Nah. If I'm just a filthy, stinking liar, then there's no need to worry. So come on, show us! I dare you to take some of this medicine right now. I can't keep this up, bro. I, this video is going on an hour and a half, bro. Me a fave! Me a fave! Bro, she killed the butterflies. Do you think you've won? Well... Do you, Miss Fay? Nani? <laughs> That's just fine. For the time being, victory is yours. My question is, why did she kill Diego, uh, 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 uh Fer Ferdinand, or whatever his name is? Armando. Why did she kill Diego Armando, then? For the time- For the time being. Well, I have a very long memory, you know. You and I will meet again. I'm certain of it. Nani? Well then, Mr. Judge. I'll see you later too, okay? Huh? Uh, why, um, yes. I'm going to go spend a little quality time with the men in blue now. I wish you all the best. Come here, dude. Whew! It's finally all over, dude. The first trial took two and a half hours. Unreal. No, it's not an objection. It's true. <laughs> I, I refuse to accept this. The defense hasn't shown a scrap of evidence to support their outrageous claim. But, but even so, your witness seems to have accepted it. I don't care. I'm Winston Payne. <laughs> Oh my god. And I don't believe one word that this rookie lawyer has said. Well then, Mr. Payne, let me ask you this. Y yes Would you care to try this cold medicine? What? Just a little earlier, I could have sworn you said. There, there. It's alright, rookie. For example, I would trust the witness, Miss Hawthorne, with my very life. This game really wants you to have, like, photographic memory. Y like, the first thing of the trial that could be said could be brought up at the very end, and it's like, I seem to recall you saying this. Really? <laughs> you do? Jesus, brother. Then I'm sure there couldn't possibly be any poison in here, right? Uh, well, um, you see he, um... And here comes the backpedal. Come on now, rookie killer. Show this rookie how it's done. 
How much trust do you really have for this woman? Are you willing to bet your life? Is this where he loses his hair, bro? I was just kidding! I was kidding! Dude, I was right. No way, actually. That's cool. Does my green screen change slight color? It does! That's why the shit's messing up. Bro, I need to turn, like, my monitors down or something. My green screen, uh, lighting changes. Either that or I just need stronger lights. Um, Mr. Payne, about Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. There goes, there goes Mr. Payne. There goes the Winston Payne that I know of. Y y yes, Your Honor. I'll file papers for her immediate arrest. Hmm. Tragic, but not surprising. I knew there was something suspicious about her from the very beginning. Don't lie, Simp. By the way, Miss Faye. Yes, Your Honor? Was it just me, or did you and Miss Dahlia Hawthorne seem to know each other? She killed my boyfriend, bruh. Your Honor, whether we did or not has no bearing on this case. Are you sure about that? Hmm, very well. Uh, Mr. Payne. This can't be happening. It's a nightmare. It's like losing to my daughter. What? It appears Mr. Payne has lost his spirit along with his hair. Does the defendant have anything further to say? It, it can't be true. My dear Dolly. <laughs> hmm, very well then. I believe I am ready to pass a judgment and bring this trial to an end, finally. The court finds the defendant, Phoenix Wright, not guilty. This court is adjourned. Thank God. How long were we in there? Only five hours? God, that seemed forever. Mia! You were wonderful in there. Thank you for everything, Mr. Grossberg. Mm. Uh, excuse me. During the verdict, I thought my hemorrhoids were going to explode like Mount v Vesuvius's. Um... Mr. Grossberg, do you, um, maybe think you could stop talking about them, please? Hmm, that's rather rude. So was you talking about your hemorrhoids. Anyway, this case really made me think. What does it really mean to have a relationship of mutual trust with the client? Oh, this is where she gets it from. Okay. Okay. Kinda. Or is this where Phoenix gets it from? I don't know. Perhaps it is we veteran lawyers who have lost sight of this. Huh. Oh, Mr. Wright! Congratulations! Thanks. Um, you know, I was thinking. Go on. The dolly that I saw up there on the witness stand, I don't think that was really her. Um, what? Yeah, the dolly I know could never have said those kinds of terrible things. Maybe, maybe she was like, I, I don't know, a fake or something. Boy, this kid has got no clue, bro. You need to forget about her, Mr. Wright, for your own sake. Yeah, you're right. It's probably for the best. Also, you need to relax a bit more. Try to grow up a little, why don't you? Fucking... That kid, okay. <laughs> but... Out of all my friends, everyone says I'm the most grown up. Grown up. Whatever. What kind of company does this guy keep? Larry Butts. And that's it. Right now, I'm... I'm studying to become a lawyer myself. That's what you keep saying. But I thought you were in the art department. Well, yeah, I am. But there's a friend that I desperately want to help. And if I hurry... Then I should. I, what the fuck? And if I hurry, then I should still be able to save him in time. I see. Say, Miss Fay, a lawyer is someone who can help people when they're in trouble, right? Mr. Wright, 
I'm still new at this myself. But I think that's exactly what a lawyer is. Okay. I'm gonna do it. I'll study my butt off. I'll become a lawyer for sure. I hope. I hope we see each other again someday. Maybe even in court. It's been five years since I was acquitted of all charges. I became a lawyer like I planned and managed to save my friend. But Mia has passed on to a better place. For me, this trial brings up a lot of painful memories. But, it also brings up some very precious ones. And memories that I thought would never rise to the surface again. Mia is gone now. But even so, I can hear her in my mind. Phoenix, no matter what, always believe in your client. So I, dude, I feel like when I see this sprite specifically, or just like a, you know, like this, like the upfront sprite of hers, I can talk, I can talk as her more easily. I feel like that whole trial, I was talking kind of whack as her. In a court of law, your greatest weapon is your belief. Five long years. Something has happened that's made me think back to her words of wisdom. That is a story for another day. Okay. Okay. That ending was kind of tight. Okay. Oh, it's this guy! I have no idea who this guy is. He's on the, um... He's on the header. For the game on Steam. I have no idea who he is, but every time I see his smile, I think of Troy Baker. For some reason. I think Troy Baker would make an excellent voice for this guy if they made... Is he in the animated series? I know there's a show. The Stolen Turnabout. There go Mia and Maya and Pearls. They're back. There goes a broken vase. And there goes, like, I don't know, some enemy lookalike from DMC, deadass. And then Pinocchio. Yikes, bro. Yes, I would like to save my progress. Jesus Christ. That's whack. I hate that trial, actually. The ending was nice because, you know, it kind of rounded up everything. And also just kind of, you know, brought us back to the current a little bit. But literally the very ending of the trial was dependent on Phoenix's like revised testimony. It wasn't even testimony. It was just him saying like, oh, I didn't tell you everything. Here's actually what happened. If you told me that the first time around, this trial would have been done in like 20 minutes, dude. But I guess that's Ace Attorney, right? I've played two whole games of Ace Attorney, I should know better. It's to find out. That is the whole point of Ace Attorney, so... You just take everything in strides, accept things as they come along, and just go with the flow. Also, apparently have to have a good damn memory, too. Remember what they said in their testimony. No, I can't. <laughs> they said that shit, like, 45 minutes ago. Anyway, episode two, the stolen turnabout with, uh, that new guy. I have no idea what voice I'm gonna give him, but back to these voices. Thank God I get to play as Phoenix again, dude. This, these first two videos, like, talking like this, like, oh my God, my throat is dead. Along with Ace Attorney, you see what else I'm playing. So if you want to see any of that stuff, please consider subscribing to the channel here on YouTube or following me over at Twitch with the link in the description. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day. Be like Phoenix Wright and wear your damn mask, please. Six feet. Uh, sanitize. Uh, uh, yeah. Bye.